In this tutorial in CyberLink Power Director, we'd like to show you how to match words in the title with narration. In this case, it's going to be narrating the reading of a child's story. Let me show you an example, and then I'll show you a bit about how to do this yourself. The butterfly loves to visit flowers. He flies around for hours and hours. This was inspired by watching a Netflix where they were narrating a child's story and the child could see the words on the screen highlighted as each one was read as the narrator was reading the story. So the first thing I've done is I've taken the backdrop, which in this case is a video. It could be a still image if you prefer. And then we're going to do a narration. Now I happen to have some narration I captured that's going to match this first slide. And if you don't have that, if you want to do that yourself, you simply click on the more, the three dots on the left side, and go to the voiceover recording room. And then you can record the narration that happens to fit that particular segment. So I have done that already and I have my capture. We'll drag it down and put it in track number two. Here is the narration. It's very short. I'm going to play through it once and then I'll show you the next step. The butterfly loves to visit flowers. He flies around for hours and hours. Okay, with that as my narration, let's do something more. We need some titles. So I'm going to take some titles I've already designed. You'll have to create yours from scratch, but I'll go to my title room. And then from all content, I want to go to custom and I have one called butterfly that we did and I'll drag and put that down on track number three. Now what I want is I want the length of the title to match the length of the video and the length of the audio. And so we could actually use it this way, but it wouldn't be nearly as interesting. We'll hear the narration, but the words won't be highlighted. The butterfly loves to visit flowers. He flies around for hours and hours. So the next step is to highlight the words as the words are spoken. And so in this case, what we need to do is scrub through our particular video. And then we're going to split the title every time we want to change the word. Now I want it to start out with all the text on the screen looking like it does. And I don't have any audio here, so I'm going to take highlight the title track and do Control T to split it there. And then I want to use the word the. So we'll scrub across it. The so the, the ends approximately here. And so with that there, I'm going to do Control T and split it. And the next word is butterfly. 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 It takes a little bit of experimenting, but even if you get it wrong, you can enlarge one of these segments and shrink the other one. We'll do a T to split it there. And then next word is loves. I love. Okay. I love. Loves to visit. So we think about here would be where I'll end the word loves, control T, and then you just repeat this. It takes a little bit of experimenting, but it's not too complicated once you've gone through a few segments of it. We'll pause the video and we'll continue to split this between the words as we scrub back and forth to identify the different segments. Then we'll go to the next part. Now that we've broken this up approximately word by word, what we need to do is change the word that's highlighted in each segment. So we're going to start out with the first one, which is has everything at the normal color, normal emphasis. I'm going to the second blocks where we had the word the. Double click on the title and we're going to take the word the and simply highlight that. I'll make it bold. I'll change the color to white. Click on OK. So now the word the will light up. We go to the next one, we have the word butterfly. I double click again and I'm going to highlight the word butterfly. Again, we'll make it bold and we'll change the color again to white. We could do other, other things with these particular characters, but I'm going to make it simple in this case. 
And the next is the word loves. And so we'll double click on that. And we'll highlight that word. And you see the pattern that we're following here. We'll make it bold so it will stand out. And then we turn it to white again and click on OK on our color selector. And so I'm going to do that for all of these little segments and we'll get back to the video. So when we play this with each word animated in timing with a narration, this is what it looks like. The butterfly loves to visit flowers. He flies around for hours and hours. And with a children's presentation, you don't have a lot of words, so it's not too onerous to do this page by page. I'd like to add one more feature, though, before we're done. I'd like to add a little bit of a background. So I'm going to take this music track and put it in the background. And then what I want to do is I'm going to right click on it and we'll do, which is audio ducking. And I'll click on OK on the defaults. I'm going to lower it a little bit, make it pretty subtle. So we have a little bit of background music beyond the verbal. I'll have to trim it at the end, but let's see what it sounds like if we go back to the very beginning and combine that with the narration and the visual clues that we have here. Let's make the screen a little larger and let's see what it looks like. The butterfly loves to visit flowers. He flies around for hours and hours. You can pick music that might fit better, but it at least gives you an example of how easy it is to layer that in there to add just a little touch so it's not simply bare narration. So that's a way in which you could do that. You could also do this, I suppose, in a musical presentation as well. But that's the technique in order to highlight the words to match narration or any other vocal.